Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Should India have two time zones? National Timekeeper adds new arguments. Why India's National Timekeeper is proposing two separate time zones? How actually time is maintained? What is the country's legal time as per law? Why the voices raise again and again for separate time zones in India? Where do the new research proposes the second IST demarcation? How will be the risk of railway accidents at every crossing from one time zone into another managed? GS Paper 1, Indian Geography. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from IndianExpress.com, dated October 22, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? Over the years, various citizens and political leaders have debated whether India should have two separate time zones. Now, a proposal for two time zones has come from India's national timekeeper itself. Scientists at the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research National Physical Laboratory, which maintains Indian Standard Time, have published a research article describing the necessity of two time zones with the new one an hour ahead of the existing time zone. Why India's National Timekeeper is proposing two separate time zones? The demand is based on the huge difference in daylight times between the country's longitudinal extremes and the costs associated with the following same time zone. The newly published article identifies where the two time zones be demarcated from each other at the chicken neck that connects the northeast to the rest of India, an area that is spatially narrow and reduces the possibility of railway accidents, it says. The article also puts a figure to the country's potential savings in energy consumption, 20 million kWh a year, if it does follow two time zones. How actually time is maintained? What is the country's legal time as per law? If lines of longitude are drawn exactly a degree apart, they will divide the Earth into 360 zones. Because the Earth spins 360 degrees in 24 hours, a longitudinal distance of 15 degrees represents a time separation of 1 hour and 1 degree represents 4 minutes. Theoretically, the time zone followed by any place should relate to its longitudinal distance from any other place. Political boundaries, however, mean the time zones are often demarcated by bent lines rather than straight lines of longitude. This is legal time as defined by a country's law. The geographic zero line runs the Greenwich London. It identifies GMT, now known as Universal Coordinated Time, which is maintained by the Bureau of Weights and Measures in France. Indian Standard Time, maintained by CSIR NPL, is based on a line of longitude that runs through Mirzapur in UP at 82 degree 33 east. The line is 82.5 degrees east of Greenwich or 5.5 hours ahead of UCT. While India follows one IST, the United States follows several time zones across its breadth. Why the voices raise again and again the separate time zones in India? India extends from 68 degrees 7 east to 97 degree 25 east, with the spread of 29 degree representing almost two hours from the geographic perspective. This has led to the argument that early sunrise in the easternmost parts, the northeast, causes the loss of many daylight hours but the time offices or educational institutions open, and that Early sunset, for its part, leads to higher consumption of electricity. Where do the new research proposes the second IST demarcation? The research paper proposes to call the two time zones 
and IST2. The proposed line of demarcation is at 89 degree 52 east, the narrow border between Assam and West Bengal. States west of the line would continue to follow IST. States east of the line, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Andaman and Nicobar Island would follow IST too. How will be the risk of railway accidents at every crossing from one time zone into another managed? As the railway signals have not yet been fully automated in the country, the border between the two time zones should have a very narrow spatial width with minimum number of train stations so that the train timings while crossing the border can be managed manually without any untoward incidents.